Hi, I'm Rob from Hobbsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at the first of a set of three beers I was kindly sent by Thwaites. It is their three new beers that they've released. First three bottled beers they've released from their new Crafty Dam microbrewery. So a smaller little um, brew plant on their, in their main production brewery. The first one I'm going to be looking at is a bottle of their 13 guns. 5.5% ABV, American IPA they call it. I first had this at the Great British Beer Festival a couple of years ago. Made a really, there were a real buzz about this beer. People have been drinking it, people look, I'll say, wow, I mean, a brewery the size of Thwaites have really kind of like got a real good kind of example of uh, an American IPA. Thwaites traditionally kind of known for some good um, traditional British Session Cascale. I mean like Wayne Rice and all that business. Decent beers, Lancaster Bomber, all that. Nothing wrong with them at all. As long as they're well kept. <laughs> um, but with this, they kind of seem to have a bit of a departure from that kind of thing. I mean, they're showing interest in how the UK beer scene is uh, developing. And obviously, any business has got to kind of like stay nimble, stay with the trends. And this beer really stood out. I've had it on cask. Uh, a couple of times since, maybe not quite as good as uh, GBBF, and then GBBF this year, 2013, was really good once again. So, here we've got the bottle, fantastic looking branding, it's still got that kind of traditional feel to it, but also, I mean, if you look at bottles of beer from the likes of like Odell uh, in uh, Colorado, there's a commonality I'd say between them, I think it's fair to say. So, I'll tell you what the hops are in this, it's all on the back of the bottle. I'll pull more all of it. It's filtered. I don't know if it's kind of how it's filtered, or if it's uh, centrifugal or fugal or whatever it's called. Um, but I know um, because Thwaites have brewed some beer for Brewdog in the past with the canning. So I mean, they, they know how to brew some decent hoppy beer. This one, as you can see on the back, it, there's loads of details about the beer. It's really good. Even the kind of even the, the colour on some of them I've noticed, but not on this one. So it's 5.5% ABV. Um, do 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 uses Thwaites ale yeast, which is really commonly used as uh, as far as kind of British craft brewing. I mean, I know I think I think um, my local brewery Saltair, I think they used a, 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 a version of Thwaites. I think, I think Thornbridge used it for a while, not anymore, but I think a lot of them use it. Uh, I mean, it's it's not too characterful. Really, lets the kind of the ingredients speak out. Anyway, um, it's hopped with. Um, um, Centennial, Citra, Amarillo, Apollo, Chinook, and Coatu. So a combination of British, uh, sorry, American, and probably New Zealand hops. Card, Coatu, uh, and its malts are pale Munich caramel and rye. So that's interesting. The uh, malt bill that I use for my pale ales is that obviously minus the rye, which was a recipe given to me by Evan but Colonel. So this has got an addition of rye, and you can certainly see that in the colour of the beer. The beer itself is, I mean, a really nice kind of radiant, burnished kind of copper, reddish copper colour. The head, I mean, this this kind of glass is never going to give you a monstrous head, but a really nice kind of beige with like a reddish tint. Just looking back at that malt bill, pale Munich, cara and rye, maybe a hint more cara and maybe the rye definitely is giving you that colour. If you look at something like uh, America, is it American Rye from Books in a very similar colour. Anyway, let's give it a sniff. <sighs> very nice. It's got a real nice caramel edge to it. It's got a lovely, maybe slight cinnamon note to it. A uh, hint of cranberry. Lovely kind of spiced orange. Orange rind. Fleshy kind of tin grapefruit, I'm going to say. For me, it really smells like an American amber ale, which is no bad thing. Maybe more than a, a, a maybe um, that's an interesting thing because rye is not a, a typical ingredient in a British beer. Maybe are they trying to kind of um, maybe this beer can potentially uh, appeal to a more casual cask ale drinker with that addition of darker malts. Because um, I always see uh, American amber ale as their version of a traditional bitter, but obviously we have a lot more hops. Yeah, it smells lovely, it really does. I mean, look at the, the those lovely amber ales from kind of Ballast Point and Stone and stuff. I think it's right up there. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. 
Mm. Lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. You get a real kind of like a blood orange flavour. Definitely getting a bit of the um, white pepper you get from the rye. Maybe a hint of red skin apples. I'm going to say once again, maybe a small hint of cinnamon. Maybe more of like a, if you've got a short crust pastry with a, bit, a little bit of cinnamon in. Some, cinnamon can be a bit overpowering for me, but when it's added to something like a, like if, yeah, the kind of a lovely sweet pastry. Really drinkable. Nice prickle of kind of hops. Um, once again, I'm going to say that definitely um, blood orange, slightly resinous, piney note, lovely. Quite tart, dry, prickly, floral, grapefruity thing. Mm. That's lovely. I'd love to have a bottle of this side by side with something like um, Stone's Levitation. Might, might have a bit more malt character in there. But as far as the, that, that, the drinkability and the hop um, level of that, I think there's definite um, similarities. Mm. Lovely taste of beer. Ends once again with that kind of it's it's like red currant, blood orange, prickle of hot bitterness. It lingers, but in a really pleasant way. And that pepper from the rye really kind of like comes through. Surprising, you mean? I mean a beer uh, a beer like this to come from a brew like this, and it, I guess it's uh, it's t it's ticking a lot of really kind of interesting craft beer boxes, and I think doing it really nicely. These are currently on sale, I think, still. I, I've had quite a few of them in the past because it was such a bargain. They were on sale at Bargain Booze, which is a, I mean, not the most attractive name for a, a, a chain of shops. They were selling this for £1.50. I mean, and that for £1.50, I've spent a lot more money on a bottle of beer that hasn't tasted half as good as that. So it's lovely stuff. I'm going to the rest in now. And bid you goodbye. So that's the first of this, these three bottles I'm going to be looking at. From Thwaites is brand new, well, relatively new, it's just over a year, I think, old, maybe about a year and a half old. The Crafty Down Microbrewery, and that is a bottle of 13 guns, American IPA. I'm going to say American Amber Ale, I mean, it's definitely along those lines. Lovely stuff, 5.5% ABV from Thwaites in Blackburn. Check them out online, thwaites.co.uk. Get down your local bag and boom, especially up if you're up in the north. About 50 for a bottle of beer this quality. Can't go wrong. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com. See you next time. Cheers.